right guys, I'm pulling a uh, vacuum on my recovery tank because we will be recovering refrigerant from this unit. We have a locked up compressor, so I will be changing out this compressor on this ream heat pump split system. I'm gonna take you through the steps. First things first, let's make sure we have a clean uh, tank. Now for recovery, you need an, your gauge is connected like normal, blue on the suction, red on the liquid. Make sure your uh, handles are closed off. You have the yellow vacuum hose going into the end part of the recovery, and then you have an extra hose on the out. And if you get a hose, make sure you get these closed off valves. They're very useful, especially in circumstances like this. So what I'm gonna do is, um, and then from here, I'm gonna purge everything out. I'm gonna open up the gauges and make sure a little bit of refrigerant comes out. That way I know that all my lines are uh, clean before I start the recovery. And then of course you wanna weigh the refrigerant. All right, so I opened up my gauges. I made sure that these are open down here. I should have a little purge. That's all you really need before you connect. And then I'll connect right here. You can even kind of purge it out, open it, and then I'm going to open and we're going to clear this out. And then, and then I'm going to let it turn in and it's going to go in and then eventually to get the real, to get it really going, turn this on. And for this unit, it holds a 410A. 86 ounces guys always make sure to uh, clean out your vacuum oil when you're doing uh, big jobs I'm doing this right after I just recovered uh, that way I know that when I do use my uh, vacuum again I have fresh clean oil and I'm gonna be using some black gold all right guys we're getting near the end there got 4.7 and 86 ounces by the way is uh, 5.3 pounds, so it is a little bit um, undercharged. Uh, I looked at the work order history, and I think we did have to add refrigerant a couple of times, so it's probably a, an additional leak somewhere. But um, so I will be adding back in the correct 5.3 pounds. That's why it's important to always uh, weigh in your refrigerant when you're doing a compressor, because that can tell you a lot about um, maybe why the compressor failed in the first place. All right, guys, now that the refrigerant is recovered, I'm gonna remove the bolts. Um, so just make sure if you got, you got an extendo and some uh, a nut driver, doing this left-handed. All right, guys, once all the bolts are removed, for me, I'm gonna sweat all this out. So it's gonna be hard to record, but what I'm gonna do in the meantime is I'm gonna unplug it. I'm gonna get all these wires out of the way. That way, when I start sweating it out, you know, I'm not, there's no chance of burning any of these wires. So if you do, just make sure you can uh, get some snips and just remove everything. And uh, that will help you uh, in the long run, if it will go. There we go. And we are going to be adding AC Renew uh, to this uh, new compressor. Just going to take it. And when you have it open, you can just pull it right there in the suction side before you solder everything in. All right, I cleaned up all my uh, solder joints. I got everything lined up before I start the soldering process. And do make sure you have your nitrogen connected and it's, uh, it's set for braze. All right, everything is soldered in. Next is a nitrogen test. All right, I got everything set nitrogen in there at 210. I'm gonna let this hold for about 15 minutes and also do uh, a bubble test. All 
all right it's been about 10 15 minutes nitrogen's holding and in the meantime i went ahead and changed the capacitor and the contact it really fitted so now we're about to uh pull a vacuum all right guys got the vacuum set up and because of the room here you can't really pull right here so we're going through the common suction up here at the reversing valve got plenty of room pulling the vacuum and when we got the uh micron gauge here at the liquid line right at 423 about to uh, stop the vacuum process and then we're going to add in the recovered refrigerant. 